um, if, if, if you had them up here, they would be considered college level or university level or whatever. In, uh, in higher work, there is no what you call first grade, second grade, third grade, and all that. It's not necessary because you learn by action. You learn by hands-on uh, learning and, and thought. You learn from an early age how to think and how to create and how to manifest by simply concentrating to do it. Now, in however, like I said, there is no time. So my time, if you were to combine time on that I've been on the surface and time that I, I was in harder earth, this is really going to be a shocker for most people. 1,867 trips around the sun. That's my true age, if you combine the two, surface and hollow earth. But when I was with my parents walking to the end of brush, it was a wondrous and glorious time. We had pterodactyls that would that our, they were our transportation because we can we would commune with them, you know, on a daily basis and. They would come down and land and ask us if we'd like to go for a ride. And, of course, uh, I, I obliged. I said, of course, I want to ride. And I would get on the back of, of a pterodactyl and off we'd go. And, <laughs> Food for babies. Oh, okay. Um, well, we didn't have Gerbers. <laughs> <coughs> and we didn't need it. We started out with yes. the food that we ate were small berries, smaller than the strawberries. You might term them blueberries. But uh, they, we, we ate solid food. We didn't worry about eating mush. It's <laughs> like you feed your babies on the surface. Um, but uh, because of lack. But of course, in our, in, our, in our society, when you're born, when you're created, you already have teeth, so you don't have to worry about growing teeth. <laughs> you're already there. So uh, we were able to chew. And uh, so berries and, and, and fruit and, and uh, uh, fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. So we were, we were created, we're created fully functioning beings, um, able to chew uh, fruit and vegetables and things like that. And we're able to uh, digest better and all that. Great. But food for babies was what you would consider on the surface a no-no, okay? Like strawberries and, and uh, or blueberries or, or grapes or whatever. And uh, they were very, very nourishing. Of course, they very large, too. But, <laughs> of course, because we were large. Um, our stature in Hollow Earth, uh, an adult male, an adult female, is um, adult males are between oh, upwards of 15 feet or, 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 or taller. Females are between 13 and 14 feet, uh, adult females. Um, when, uh, before I came to be on the surface, my height was around 13 and a half. 14 feet, something like that. And my twin sister was the same. And uh, so, go ahead, we're going back. Um, as toddlers, we're considered toddlers, uh, but uh, at that time, we were 
uh, fully um, educated uh, about hollow earth and also about the surface world. We learned about the surface world uh, far uh, beyond, far earlier than you would consider on the surface teaching children. But we already knew that the surface of the earth was beautiful. And the, we, 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 could, we were able to see them on monitors and, 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 and experience it and watch them. And also the library of Puerto Logos, we'd go there and they would see, we would see uh, 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 crystal slides of the surface of the earth and the, and the beauty of it and, the, uh, and your forests and your rivers and your streams were crystal clear and your uh, skies were blue and, uh, and you can be, be able to see the stars with, uh, through uh, these crystal uh, disks. So we saw your surface as the beauty that it once was. And we want we we want to go there because of the beauty of it. But over time, or over existence, because time doesn't exist there, but over exist uh, a period of existence, <coughs> we had a visitor from your surface, and he was a military man. He was a uh, Navy admiral. Um, Admiral Richard Ed E. Bird. He came to our world because it was important for him to come to our world. He was a very uh, uh, inquisitive, put it that way. He had, he had a lot of questions, of course. And he also, when he saw the beauty of Hollow Earth, he wanted to stay. Hmm? The sister's names. Oh, okay. Well, my sister's name is uh, uh, Zariah. So that would be Z-A-R-I-R-A, I think. And, uh, and of course, the, the, and my brother's, his name was, uh, what was his name? Um, Gabe? 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 Gabriel. Yeah, that was his name. Um, but he was very, uh, so we have the, you know, we, we name our people, our children as you would name them on the surface as well. There's a lot of Z, um, a lot of uh, uh, Z, uh, Z names, and a lot of uh, uh, G names, and things like this, but not as uh, widespread as they are on the surface. People are named the same names. <laughs> it's really interesting. Our schools are hands-on schools. They're not like, um, the closest thing on your surface would be the Weldon. I think it's called is it called the Weldon School. Uh, ones that they, they have uh, their classrooms are outside, and they have uh, you know learn hands on, which is a better way to learn anyway. Instead of going into books and stuff like that, but the. The schools were more advanced than what they are on the surface because they teach you to learn and to use your mind. They allow you to be, you, to be all that you can be. And um, I'm not talking about the Army, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that they allow you to expand your mind, to exercise your thoughts, your creative ability. As you remember, as I've told you, thought is the creator as thought always is. Whatever you think, you will create. If you create lack and poverty, 
you'll have lack and poverty. If you think prosperity and wealth, you'll have prosperity and wealth. Because the, as thought is the creator, then you, you want to change your thoughts of lack and poverty to prosperity and wealth. Start thinking on those lines and the, your lack and, and poverty will fade away and your, your abundance and your creativity to create wealth will come to the surface and you will be able to create the wealth you desire not just in monetary value but also in in thoughts in in manifestation manifesting a home manifesting transportation or whatever you have that ability within you you are very yeah. powerful beings yes so I just want to kind of help um, get get back on right. track in regards to your time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> and then I'm going to be we're going to be uh, having your dad come in very shortly, and uh, this is just a small part of some information that has uh, that you haven't spoken about in a very long time. And this is to help you yes. to you know, kind of catch up on, you know, who you really are. So if you go back again to yes. childhood, and you were talking right. a little bit. So let me ask you a couple of questions, you know, in regards to that. Okay. So All right. some of the things that you did as a toddler, what kind of um, activities did you do as a young child? So. You know, I mean, the kids that are toddlers too, yeah, yeah. they play with dolls, they play with little cars. Uh, what did you do? And tell me a little bit more about that schooling that you had. You always talk about, and your dad does, that thought is, uh, you know, thought is the creator. Your thought is the creator. So tell us how you went about going and talk. How did you begin and when did you begin that at the station? So let's just go backwards a little bit. In terms of play, what did you do when at play? When you were very, very, very young. When I was very, very young, I played with the insects. I played with the you know, small critters that were around on the, on the on the ground and also in the air. And uh, we communed together. We were we were one. You know, uh, everything that can communicate telepathically is one, and is one language. So it's not uh, a combination of different cultures or anything like that. It's a combination of uh, uh, being one with your surroundings. Um, uh, even even uh, arachnids, which you call spiders, eight-legged creatures, they were nothing to be feared. Uh, in fact, some large enough to ride, but um, they were smaller ones. Uh, we would put them on our in our hands and let them crawl on, on, on us because they were, you know, they they were a living being and were able to communicate telepathically. So we would commune with them as well. We, there was no fear of them, um, and uh, also your uh, your serpents and things of this nature, your lizards and small lizards before they became big 